Mike, you bring up uh, the concept of faith. I know that you found uh, God, Jesus, while you were in the can, right? I, I believe you also did the same when you – are you – uh, Muslim no, now? Muslim, but I was okay. Muslim before I went to prison. You were. But, so what role has faith played in your life at this point? Because you see in America the decline in family, the decline in religion, the decline in uh, community service. Um, and, you know, we see that the – Pat says this all the time, that churches should be packed these days. You know, churches should – uh, revive America's greatness. W what role has religion played in your guys' life, and and what are people lacking as they're clinging to politics and political ideology and wokeness, as some may regard, uh, rather than faith in God? Man, there you go, Mike. I just believe that. Um, on praise be to Allah. I just believe God should be your personal entity. I don't believe God should be. You know, that's my opinion. You you should have your relationship with God because when you when it's your turn to go in front of God, you're gonna be alone. Judgment day, your homeboy's not gonna be inside your mother, your father, you'll be alone. You know, that's what they say. So you have to have your own personal relationship with God in any way you believe it's possible that's better and help you reach your highest potential. Sometimes, um they can't do it from a some people can't deal with religion from a perspective of this is the way it is from the bible from the book mm -hmm. and i don't know everyone don't get into it from that perspective they want their own personal relationship with allah you're saying more spiritual than more structured religion yes but they the structure is good as well some people some of us need the structure that's why we have the structure in the quran and the bible because some people feed on that alone that's mm -hmm. their their objective and um i just think they all have their purpose all religion has the purpose yeah, all the religion, from my experience now, came from the, what, what do you call those people before before the Egyptians, Sumerians? Mm -hmm. It's the same the same religion they have. It's the same religion in the Bible, some parts of the Quran. Moses is a different name. It's Gilgamesh. You know, so all religion, even though I saw this once before, if I could be permitted to say, I was in Egypt, and I'm a Muslim, and I saw on the... The carvings, they had statues doing the Muslim um, prayer, the way we pray. You know, and I said, wow, this had this had to influence Islam a lot. You know, those statues. Mm -hmm. That's that's hundreds of you know, like thousands of years old. So we don't know anything about this world. We just know what we were taught or told. We have no ideology who we are, where we came from, who our ancestors really were. You know. How about you, Mike? I couldn't have said it better, but, you know, personal relationship, that's what it's all about. I mean, you, you got to have a, you know, moral foundation. You, you got to have something. And, and uh, to me, it's all about my personal relationship with God. Now, obviously, you know, I go out and speak and share it, but I feel I'm obligated to do that. But uh, it's, it's like you said, you're going to stand in front of God alone, you and him, nobody else. You know, and so often, you know, you get on social media, and Patrick, you know, there's people who say this and that, and so many crazy people online, and I don't respond to any of that because you do care about what people say. Don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's you and God alone, and you got to get it straight with him. And I'm, and I'm pretty heavy on donations, too, stuff. A lot. But, you know, if that helps any, that helps me. Oh, everybody, this, this is what I realized in my life, even myself. Even when I give my tips, I always give tips out. It's a good thing, but subconsciously I'm trying to buy my way to heaven. <laughs> you know, you know, be honest, man. You're buying our way to heaven. Oh, you need this, you need this. Yeah. Okay. In the Jewish religion, that's called tzedakah. <laughs> yeah, really? So I'm yeah. a tzedakah. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm a tzedaker. laughs> there we go, man. Well, as Tupac once said, only only God could judge me. Yes, I'm a that's right. Good I'm, to I'm see a Muslim, a, a Catholic, a I'm Christian, a, and a Jew I'm all a, hanging I'm out a, on a, a podcast. I'm a tzedakah guy. But listen, check this out. Imagine if we were in no religions, know where we would be? Yeah. We would be brothers. If we didn't have no religions and we had four guys together, we'd be brothers. Right? We all have the same belief. We don't believe in God. Or else religion. You know, we'd be brothers. There's always religion, because religion is just an action. Something that's um repetition. What we do, we wake up every day, our lifestyles are religion. Whatever we do is the concept of religion. Repetition. Belief. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.